Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is another scrappy shop and I am only doing it very quickly to follow on from when I showed off my Vicky Beauty in Fernwood. Everything that you saw in that video is in here. Um, so I basically have just written on there what it is and I've kept it all together in there. When I first started scrapping I didn't do that, I would separate it all up but I've now started keeping it all in a little box together. Having seen what's in here, I'm going to need two boxes. One for embellishments and one for paper. The boxes are Weston's boxes and if you watch my Scrappy Room Tour video, you will have seen me talk about those. They're awesome boxes. I would highly, highly, highly recommend them. Um, I, they're just brilliant for storage basically and I love them. So, enough about the box. This is the order from Paper Maze. I am on Paper Maze DT, however this has all been paid for and that. It's not part of my DT kit yet, but I will be working with Vicky Bootin, I think, for November. So that's exciting. And yeah, just wanted to let you know that I am on the design team, just so I'm being completely open. So let's look at the paper first. As you know, I got loads of paper from the other store when I did that video. However, I wanted to get more of the same papers because I love them. And it's funny really, when I first saw this collection, it was like, I love, love, love Vicky Boogan. Colour Study, Storyteller, Warm Wishes are my three favourites. Then of course we've got Colour Kaleidoscope and is it Wildflower and Honey? Yeah, I, I love her. And she's all also a really, really nice lady. I have spoken to her a few times and she's done stuff for Dotty about Flair. She's amazing. But when I first saw it I was thought, hmm, I don't know if I like it. But then obviously Vicky did her reveal was it September? Can't remember now. Quite a while ago. I'm sure it was September actually. It wasn't long after Warm Wishes came out and I looked closer at it during her live walkthrough and I thought, mm, yeah, I love it. So I ordered, as you saw the other day, two or three of the papers, but then I was thinking, I know I want to do Vicky's Fernwood class in January. I'm doing the Warm Wishes one next weekend. So I thought I need to get extra paper so I have enough for that class as well. So that is what I did. I've also got Paper Maze, which is brilliant, I think, do what they call a Basil Matchmaker Pack. And it's basically a pack of cardstock to match the collection. So they do it for all collections. So I have picked up the Fernwood one. So we have got Basil. This is Blossom. As you can see, perfect match for that pink. Then we've got another Basil in Whirlpool. We have got a basil in lava. Love that red. A basil in jade. A basil. This. These are all textured. The only one that isn't textured is this walnut cream. Then we've got a really lovely bright desert marigold, and an admiral. One of my favourite colours of basil. So that is the Brazil map make a pack from Paper Maze. Really cheap as well, I think they're £3 or something like that. Um, so if you're in the UK it's definitely worth checking out. Then I'm not going to spend ages on the paper. These are the papers that I was missing from the other one and also extras of the other ones. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I got. So I have got two of these because, hello, look at it. I just love it. Love, love, love it. Always love these style papers in Vicky's collections. The back is that, which I would also use. And I love, as usual, all the distress and the texture. Then I have got two more of the climbing vines. Two more of Fable. I think I've pretty much got two more of everything. So I will have a lot of paper, but I will keep a lot of it aside. For Vicky's class because she can't ship the kit. I did get a kit shipped for Storyteller, um, but 
it's expensive, of course it's expensive, and it's a lot of work for Vicky. So I thought I'm going to buy all the extra papers now, keep them aside, and I have them all ready for when the class goes live. Um, two more, three more phone wood because of the ledger. A couple more, three more of the three by fours because of that. Look at that. I'm actually using Fernwood for a video coming out tomorrow, so keep a look out for that. This is Fernwood 4x6. I haven't had this one before. I've only got one of these, <clears throat> only because I struggle to use these. I have got a couple more of the tags because of that, and another field of daisies. I've not seen this one before, but wow. I've only got one of these, I meant to order more of them. Look at that. Love that. A couple more focus because of that. And full circle. Gather. Because I don't know if any of you have ever taken a Vicky Boot in class, but it's a weekend, so it's um, Lola Blueser, I think she calls them. She does one for every collection. As I say, I'm doing warm brushes next week. So I will come on here maybe and finish it off, but she uses a lot of paper, so hence why I have a lot of paper. A couple more of these, another one of these for this side. Oh, I've not seen this one before. Oh, that's a shame, I thought I had ordered more of these, I'll have to check that. Nice, a couple more of them. That, because it's just a ready-made background, I love it, but also the black. Just love it. Then, because I decided I love that side, that I want to fuss cut a load of them. Hence why I got the three. That green, that green is just, it's just me. Then, again, right. Some more tickets. There is a lot of paper, and you're probably thinking, what is that like doing? He has gone mad. But honestly, I haven't. Hopefully you will see that when I uh, do the Fernwood class. And three of them, because I love that paper. It is one of my favourite ever papers. So if I pop that there, and if I come to my little box of Fernwood goodies here, I am shock you all. That is my Fernwood paper. And yes, it is a crazy amount. But as I said, I will probably use just counting them out. I'll probably use that in the class. That is the equivalent of what we're using for warm wishes. So that is the paper. I also picked up some papers from Simple Stories, Simple Vintage, Country Harvest. I hadn't got any of this collection, but I suddenly realised I love it. That paper is gorgeous. As is that one. I do have one of these, I think, from a kit. I love that side. But I bought them for those sides. So that is the paper. I'm going to put them separately. And I'm going to put the cardstock pack with that. <clears throat> then we have embellishments. So whilst we were talking about which I did also get the chipboard frames and the sticker book. Because I don't really have any autumnal frames. And I love all this. I'm not going to use that. But that's fine, I will pass it on to someone. So I got those as well. Now I got this, and I don't usually get this, but I thought I would give it a try. That is the watercolour set, bright watercolour set that goes with Fernwood. Then I got, just taking those little tags off it. So these are mostly embellishments that I couldn't get elsewhere, and also <clears throat> some extras, because it's Fernwood. Well, no, because it's Vicky Booting. And as I 
I say, I'm repeating myself, but I will also keep a lot of the embellishments separate for class. So I've got the other stencil pack. So this one has these lovely florals and leaves. This, which is also a pattern on the paper. And this big fern and three butterflies. And again, we get that lovely paper. I wasn't going to get these, but I have these are the stamp sets. Love them. Then we have the sticker book, and there are eight sheets in this, and there are gold foil pieces as well. Love all these. And they're all cardstock, I believe. These are washi strips, but everything else is cardstock. Look at that. And that. And that. All of it. <laughs> I got a couple of the layered stickers. I've not seen these. I have online, but not in person. Oh, they're lovely. And the top pieces are vellum. So you can have dimension like that. Love them. I got a couple because there's only six. And they won't last long, really. So as you can see, you get dimension with them. A couple of the mini puffy stickers because of those gnomes, cameras and words. Look at the gnomes, so cute. And then you get a different piece there. What else do we have? For some mad reason I have another one of these. I will take a couple of these out of this kit, this collection, and put them in my stash so I use them for other things. Then we have the Alphas. Now, I am happy to admit that I was addicted, and still am, to the Alphas in colour study. Those bright Alphas, and I'm not a fan of chipboard Alphas, I have to admit. But I made an exception for the colour study ones because they were stunning. And I will happily admit I have about six, seven, eight packs of them. I'm not so sure about these ones. So I only got one. So they are chipboard and they're called Fernwood. And you get all those letters and numbers. You get quite a lot of numbers and letters, but I personally don't use numbers much, so I would prefer to have then you can basically, as I said, you can customize them so you can colour them in, paint them, ink them. So I bought one just to have a go as you can see there. Then we have the cardstock stickers. Pick one of those up. Love, love, love. Look at that. And then we have the chipboard stickers and I have two because I love these houses. This title, this camera, this magnifying glass and this tab. And the nose. <laughs> so yeah, we have two of them. And that's it. So my Fernwood collection is now complete. Which I'm really happy about. I just thought I'd pop back on and show you the rest of it. So I can get creating with it. Thanks so much for joining me. Watch out for a hot video tomorrow using this lovely goodies. And I will see you then. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now.